Hey everyone, welcome to this psychology lecture series. In this video, we are going to talk about personality assessment. Personality assessment is a proficiency in professional psychology that involves the administration, scoring and interpretation of empirically supported measures of personality traits and styles in order to refine clinical diagnosis, structure and inform psychological interventions and increase the accuracy of behavioral prediction in a variety of contexts and settings. Personality tests are techniques designed to measure one's personality. Personality testing and assessment refer to techniques designed to measure the characteristic patterns of traits that people exhibit across various situations. There are two types of personality tests. They are self-report inventories and projective tests. Self-report inventories are a kind of objective test used to assess personality. They typically use multiple choice items or numbered scales which represent a range from 1 to 5 where 1 is strongly disagree to 5 which is strongly agree. They are often called Likert scales after their developer Rensis Likert. One of the most widely used personality inventories is the Minnesota Multiphasic Personality Inventory, first published in 1943 with 504 true or false questions and updated to MMPI 2 in 1989 with 567 questions. The original MMPI was developed by Stark R. Hathaway and J.C. McKinley who were the faculties of University of Minnesota. MMPI 2 was developed by Butcher, Dahlstrom, Graham, Telegan, and Kramer. The original MMPI was based on a small limited sample composed mostly of Minnesota farmers and psychiatric patients. The revised inventory was based on a more representative national sample to allow for better standardization. The MMPI 2 takes 1 to 2 hours to complete. The responses are scored to produce a clinical profile of the test taker is composed of 10 scales. Those scales are hypochondria, depression, hysteria, social deviance, masculinity versus femininity, paranoia, psychasthenia, that is obsessive or compulsive qualities, schizophrenia, hypomania, and social introversion. The next is the Myers-Briggs type indicator, which is based on Carl Jung's theory of personality. It measures individuals across four dimensions, which are attitude, perception, judgment, and lifestyle preferences. This test has been criticized for its lack of statistical validity and low reliability. It was developed in 1921 by Catherine Cook Briggs and her daughter Isabel Briggs Myers. The next is the revised NEO personality inventory which examines a person's big five personality traits which are openness to experience, consciousness, extroversion, agreeableness, and neuroticism. In addition, this test has six subcategories of each big five personality trait called facets. It was initially published in 1980 by Costa and McRae and they further continued to publish other three versions in 1985, 1992 and 2005. The revised inventories feature updated norms. The next is the 16 personality factor questionnaire or 16PF questionnaire which was developed in the 1940s 
over several decades of empirical research by Raymond B. Cattle, Morris Tatsuka, and Herbert Eber. The 16 PF provides a measure of normal personality and can be used by psychologists and other mental health professionals as a clinical instrument to help diagnose psychiatric disorders and help with the prognosis and therapy planning. It provides measurements of anxiety, adjustment, emotional stability and behavioral problems. It can be used for career and occupational selection. The next is the Ising Personality Questionnaire which was developed in 1985 by Hans Jorgen Ising and Sybil B. G. Ising which is a questionnaire to assess the personality traits of a person. It focuses on psychotism, extraversion and neuroticism. Another method for assessment of personality is projective testing. This kind of test relies on one of the defense mechanisms proposed by Freud that is projection as a way to assess unconscious processes. During this type of testing, a series of unambiguous cards is shown to the person being tested who then is encouraged to project his feelings, impulses and desires onto the card by telling a story, interpreting an image or completing a sentence. Many projective tests have undergone standardization procedures and can be used to access whether someone has unusual thoughts or a high level of anxiety or is likely to become volatile. Some of the examples of projective tests are Rorschach's Inkblot Test, Thematic A-Perception Test, the Contemporized Themes Concerning Blacks Test, the Themas that is Tell Me a Story and the Rotter Incomplete Sentence Blank. The Rorschach's Inkblot Test was developed in 1921 by a Swiss psychologist named Hermann Rorschach. It is a series of symmetrical ink blot cards that are presented to a client by a psychologist. Upon presentation of each card, the psychologist asks the client what this might be, brings out their unconscious feelings and struggles. It has been effective in measuring depression, psychosis and anxiety. The next projective test, which is the thematic air perception test, was created in the 1930s by Henry Murray, an American psychologist and a psychoanalyst named Christiana Morgan. A person taking the TAT is shown 8 to 12 ambiguous pictures and is asked to tell a story about each picture. The stories give insight into their social world, revealing hopes, fears, interests and goals. It is one of the most widely used projective tests. The next is the Rotter Incomplete Sentence Blank which was developed by Julian Rotter in 1950. There are three forms of this test which can be used with different age groups that is the school form, the college form and the adult form. This test is similar to word association test and like other types of projective tests. It is presumed that the responses will reveal desires, fears and struggles. Hope you find this useful. Do share and subscribe. Thank you.